We begin tonight with the progress on the Interstate 74 bridge because today, nearly four years since construction began, the final steel beam was put in place, bringing the Quad Cities one step closer to a completed bridge. And tonight, News 8 Shelby Kluver is joining us live after being in the construction zone this afternoon. Shelby, this beam is just one of, you know, there's hundreds out there, aren't there? Exactly. It's almost kind of hard to picture just how many of those steel beams make up the bottom of the bridge deck. On the Iowa side, from the beginning of the bridge all the way up until the riverfront, there's about 300 of them. And today we got an exclusive look at the final piece of that project being put into place. We're at a milestone of the project. It was up, up and away for one final steel beam. Crews guided the giant girder, about 115 feet long, into place on Wednesday afternoon. Everything's coming together. Some workers even snapped a few pics, documenting the historic moment as the final beam of the I-74 bridge was officially attached. It feels good to be this close and, and to have an end in sight. I-74 corridor manager George Ryan said it's hard to believe the first beams were laid back in 2017. What an awesome project when it's all said and done. I mean, the Quad Cities will have state-of-the-art interstate access. And that access depends on over 70 and a half million pounds of structural steel. For crews, laying all of it hasn't always been easy. We've had our share of difficulties with flooding, harsh winters, COVID. Um, so they've dealt with a lot throughout the course of this project. According to George, many of those men and women are from the Quad Cities themselves. They worked a lot of long hours doing a great job. And while the work isn't done quite yet, the steel is all set, bringing the end of construction one step closer. Now, for all of that, the next step in this entire phase is going to be pouring a whole bunch of concrete. Project managers tell us the last step, the next step, excuse me, is going to be 1,900 cubic yards of that on the Illinois-bound side of the bridge. Jim? Well, let's be honest. I mean, we're all expecting this bridge to be finished by the end of this year. Are we still stuck on that timeline? Is that going to work? Yeah, so far so good, according to project manager George Ryan. He tells us if everything keeps going smoothly on that front, drivers should be good to go on the Illinois-bound side of the bridge by the end of this year. All right, Shelby, that's a big deal. Thanks. We're also told the new off-ramp from Interstate 74 to Grant Street in Bettendorf should be finished sometime next month. And if you're heading into Iowa on Interstate 74, your commute tomorrow morning will look a little different. When you head towards Iowa on Interstate 74, traffic will shift near the 7th Avenue off ramp in Moline. Now this change takes effect tonight. It's happening for the next three weeks or so. Contractors will finish painting interstate lines on the concrete. So we really want you to make sure that you slow down. Use caution in that area.